Back at Ascot then for the handicap versions of the races that were run a couple of weeks ago. These are the final trials before the new season. Uh, the races have been handicapped from the result from a fortnight ago. The top one here is Pat Shimali for David Robertson, Demean of Darkness for Joshua Sutherland, Shaw Shanghai for Craig Allen, Fresno Witch and the Bakersfield remix of Vinnie Gerard, Rough Weather for Leon Van Rensburg, Let's Dance for David Hooley, Duke of Finsbury, Paul Rhodes, Silford Ferris, Darren Thompson, Morley Street, David Hooley, Fit Odd Point, Darren Thompson, Alien Assassin, Graham Clutterbuck, Venaria Prince for David Robertson, Baltic Dragoon, Graham Clutterbuck, Sierra Messiah, Craig Allen, Forest Gate, CDJ Liggett, Twisted Island for Alex Cherry, Carlita Negra, Paul Rhodes, Tons of Sobs, Martin Ligon, Wood Spirit, Leon Van Rensburg, Night Star, Ryan Costello, Rear Window, Alex Cherry, Cowboy Boots, Error, Derek Hinton, Midnight Hour, Martin Ligon, and 2468 for Derek Hinton as well. So 25 of them then. And called in, and away they go. And this first of the eight handicapped races, four over the sticks and four on the flat, two hurdles, two chases, and Four flat races and Bakerfield remix will lead us into the first flight in this first one. And they will successfully negotiate the first. And the Vinnie Gerard almost Bakersfield remix in the lead. From right over on the far side, Twisted Island in the orange sleeves just about second. Sibford Ferris is close up, so Sierra Messiah and Alien Assassin. As they make their way past the winning post then with a complete circuit of the track to go. And they're now swing right-handed. Seven more flights to take. Um, Bakersfield Remix is the leader by a good six lengths. I think he led this way in the first race as well. It'll be interesting to compare the two races later and see how the handicapping works. You can tell from the disc that obviously number one was the one that won last time. Number two came second, number three came third. Not always an exact science like that, but is in this particular race as they come down to the second flight and Bakerfield Remix is already in the lead trying to improve on his fifth from last time you can see 2468 the one right out the back was last last time and looks like he's probably going to be last this time as well so maybe running over the wrong sort of trip that one but it's Bakersfield Remix leading over flight three from Dominion of Darkness and Rough Weather then Alien Assassin, Venaria Prince and Twisted Island after that one you can see the main body of the field a pretty tightly grouped probably no more than eight lengths between them but the leader Bakersfield Remix is five clear over flight four and the back marker 2468 is a good 10 or 15 length of drift. So Bakersfield Remix then continues to show the way as they make the, their way past the midway point in this one with Sibford Ferris and Venaria Prenz and then Twisted Island and Alien Assassin. The Meaning of Darkness is also close up. They're spread right across the track. One or two and we caught quite wide. Forest Gate and Duke of Finsbury might be a couple of them who lose a bit of ground on the turn. But Bakersfield Remix continues to show the way. The pack, though, are closing and they're bunched in behind as they get over flight number five. And now the lead may have changed. It might just about be the ground. This near side Sierra Masai is just in front from Twisted Island. Bakersfield Remix fighting back though. Then Sibford Friends of an area friends is still there. So is Rough Weather also trying to get into it. His Wood Spirit Night Stars not far away as they get over the sixth. And over that one they go with Sierra Messiah in the lead by about a neck to Bakersfield Remix on the inside who's now reasserting and getting back into the lead being challenged by Twisted Island you can see he's on a decent weight then comes Rough Weather Baltic Dragoon is trying to get into it as well Sibford Ferris is now it Cowboy Boots Emma's trying to get going as well but it's Bakersfield Remix who's back in the lead from Twisted Island in second Rough Weather is third Sierra Massara is fourth then Dominion of Darkness Baltic Dragoon they're coming down towards the second last over it they go and it's Rough Weather from Sierra Messiah Rough Weather in the lead Sierra Messiah second these two have pulled clear of Twisted Island in third Bakersfield Remix 4, then running on there is Carlita Negra, let's dance and Baltic Dragoon, tons of salt trying to get it over the final flight they go, and it's Rough Weather in the lead from Sierra Messiah, then comes Twisted Island, tons of salt making good ground on the outside, racing inside the final half foot on down the low weight, Sierra Messiah takes it up, Sierra Messiah from Rough Weather, here comes tons of sobs on the outside, also finishing well, it's fit on point, tons of sobs on the near side, Sierra Messiah on the far side, they flash past the post together, and it's close. see the benefit of the handicap in there with horses in the teens flashing past the post for Sierra Messiah looks to have taken it Craig Allen of a low weight let's take a look at the full list and in fact it's a dead heat 
So you can't ask for much more than that from a handicap. The candidates are going to dead heat in his first attempt at handicap in a race. So Sierra Messiah for Craig Allen and tons of subs for Martin Lidham are the joint winners then with a dead heat. Third was Fit Odd Point for Darren Thompson. Fourth was Baltic Dragoon for Graham Clutterbuck. And fifth was Rough Weather for Leon Van Rensburg. And you can see there the difference that handicapping makes to a race. And all the other conditions of the race were exactly the same, just the weights were altered depending on where they finished last time and you can see that um, some of the high weighted ones may have just had a good run last time we're a bit lucky that's by the way the handicapping will work you'll go up and you'll go down and Craig Allen gets one off a decent weight it's going to be difficult to beat it's a win for Craig Allen and Martin Lidham sharing the spoils in the first